this is a recording of one of the articles on the Shivers Omnipedia. This is for the Witch Doctor drum puzzle featured in the game. It is located in the Witch Doctor slash Shaman exhibit room, and it is a simple puzzle which could be drastically complex. The puzzle is used to open the door between the shaman slash witch doctor exhibit room and the gods and religious items exhibit room. The trick to it is to beat out the right combination on the drums that you see before you. The trick is that each beat has one of four options and you do not know when exactly to stop playing the drums. Now, that's what makes it both simple and complex, because while there are only four options, you may not think that's much to start with. But the simple fact is, each next beat in the chain increases the number of options by a power of four. So if it was only one beat, it would be four possible combinations. Two, 16 possible combinations. Three, 64 possible combinations. And so on and so forth. While this may seem like a simple puzzle, a fun little thing, the odds of figuring it out without some clues or some guidelines is astronomical. In fact, if you were to extend it all the way to the possibility of 10 beats, there are over a million combinations and it would take the better part of a month to test them all. And that's for, that is including if you have a perfect memory and can remember every combination you've tried. Now, there are ways to make this puzzle a bit simpler. And though this is not included, I can tell you that for each beat, the following beat is not the same as the one that preceded it. That means you don't have ba ba or rom rom or bo bo or something like ta ram ram or ta bo bo with this in mind your first beat will always be one of four and each consecutive beat will be one of three this drastically reduces the number of combinations so that by the time you get ten beats you actually have a possible probability of one in a couple of ten thousand. Easier to solve in a limited amount of time. Now this would, could have been even more simpler if it was just limited to a to no repeats, but it was not designed that way. In fact the correct beat pattern is seven beats long. No beat is the same as the beat that preceded it or that succeeds it. So it's easy to probably determine what it is without trying. Luckily one of the characters in the game figured out the right combination and painted it on some scaffolding that's in the Witch Doctor Shaman's exhibit room. You can view it with the camera by the control panel that is up in the clock tower. Now this is a puzzle that is favorites of various people everywhere because it's so simple to set up. In fact, many of us have probably seen the variation on it that is the Price is Right Price and Game safe crackers. In there you have a combination lock that is unlocked by a three-digit code, which is actually the price of a one of the items offered as a prize. The puzzle.
puzzle is then solved basically with three choices for first number, two choices for a second, and of course the last one's automatic. That makes a total of six possible combinations, much better odds than the countless you'll have to go through to solve the Witch Doctor's drum puzzle. But again, this is a drastically simple puzzle which can turn complex the longer it goes. I th hope you have found this slightly informative and a bit interesting and hopefully this is not going to be the only of little videos I do for the Shippers on the Pedia. Uh, you can find it on the link below and the, also I'll provide the exact article which has a little bit more information including some charts showing the possible combinations for up to 10 beats for the puzzle. Thank you and hope you check out both the Omnipedia and the video and take a look at some others that I've put together for other things I've worked on. Ta-ta!